Hey everyone, Danny Jose here, DDIY guy with another do-it-yourself video and this time I'm gonna repair my fallen down fence. It came down with a major gust of winds uh, a few weeks ago and uh, it was, uh, as you can tell, like the bottoms of the posts were rotting over. Basically that's uh, very common, uh, supposedly. These fences go down quite easily once um, the bottom part of the post gets rotten and it just gets, uh, gets really weak and it just collapses. So I'm going to show you how to repair it. Um, use the existing panels and the posts and salvage. Uh, for less than $20 you can now repair your broken down fence. I have four posts that came down so I'm going to use the existing posts and show you how to repost them back onto the concrete, already existing concrete that's on the ground. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm going to cut these uh, posts down to about six feet. I can get about six feet left on, on these ends here and that should be good. I'm going to cut it with a circular saw. And then afterwards, I'm going to go and coat this with some protective coating. I'm going to show you the can. It's this green stuff that just goes on top of this wood, seals it, uh, keeps it nice and dry and so it doesn't get rotten. So I measured down to about six feet and that gives me enough to cut off the the end pieces that are rotten. And then I use a circular saw to do that and once that's done to help um, the wood from getting rotten again, I use this can of end cut preserve preservative. Had this line around, um, so that helps protect the 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 pieces that are exposed uh, to water. It helps it from rotting, and then you can see how rotten this wood got. It just gets when it gets this rotten, it just breaks like a twig in the wind. Um, it's very common uh, for fences. I put like two coats of that preservative to help protect it from getting rotten again. And then I bought these um, what's called aluminum angles and they're about uh, $12 for 48 inches so I've cut them down to about um, 12 to 14 inches uh, with this uh, jigsaw. So this is where my fence blew down and here's the posts area. Um, this is about seven feet so it's going to step down once I put the six foot post on, back on and then I'll dig this up um, right down to the concrete where I'm, then I'm just going to start hammering the aluminum corners right down to the sides of the concrete and then I place the posts um, right in between those um, aluminum angles and then once that's done, I, I bought these deck screws and washers. Um, now I have to buy the washers because the, the deck screws um, don't fit in these holes. So that just um, allows me to just grip the, the angles, uh, angle brackets right onto the posts. I also had to cut the panels a little shorter. I did that with a circular saw, about a foot shorter to match with the shorter posts. And once that's done, I put the panels up and, and put uh, two by sixes along the bottom to support the bottom panels. And there you have it, um, a fixed fence, uh, cost effective and using the existing wood and it's as strong as ever.